Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new butterfly cards from Andre Seneca and Cardamundi cards. All right, so what are the butterfly cards? Uh, originally, this was a Indiegogo campaign uh, that Andre put out. It was successfully funded, of course. Uh, and originally, I think it was just the blue backed cards and they were originally gonna be marked cards. Uh, and then after that, there was the addition like, well, let's do uh, marked and unmarked and then let's do red. So there's uh, now blue marked, blue unmarked, red marked, and red unmarked. And these cards were designed with two goals in mind. They have to be complex and irregular enough to disguise the markings, so uh, the, the, the back pattern so that people can't you know, distinguish okay, where the marking is. And they have to be pretty enough to justify the use over a more common deck of playing cards. This back design uh, is very beautiful. It was designed by Stefan Eriksson. Stefan is a graphic designer and he is also a magician. And there's just so much to talk about. Let's get into it. As of this video, I think most of the cards that you're going to find on the internet for sale are the marked cards. But if you uh, are lucky enough to get marked and unmarked, uh, you're going to notice right away that the tuck cases are identical. So if you bought two decks, they're going to look identical to you. Uh, and so the way to tell if your deck is marked or unmarked is the top scripts right here. Okay, it says butterfly playing cards. Okay, and because my this deck here that I'm using as my example, this this one's marked. If you run your finger along the top of it, this wording is embossed. If you have an unmarked deck and you rub your finger across it, it'll be flat. So that is your clue. So let's say you just say you had two of these in your jacket pocket and you were using one as the marked and one as the unmarked and you were switching them in and out. All you'd have to do is when you reach into your pocket, you could feel the top of the box. You'd know you were grabbing the marked and you could pull them out. You're good to go. The tuck case is very minimalistic in design. It's all white wrapped around uh, with this red cigar band, this blue uh, bottom. Just has a butterfly uh, image there, right there in the front. The sides and back is blank. The top just says butterfly playing cards. And the bottom has some ad copy and it has the uh, small black butterfly logo. Uh, the inside tuck flap is uh, all ornate and it's made on the same uh, design work as the back design of the cards. And it carries over all the way to the inside of the tuck flap as well. You have a bunch of ascending butterflies and it says the sky is the limit and pretty much going from the blue deck to the red deck uh, they're completely identical in that regard only the blue ink is red that is pretty much it for the tuck case let's take a look at these cards like I said earlier, these cards were printed from Cardamundi out in Belgium, and when I first pulled these out of the box, they were incredibly smooth. Like, smoother than smooth. It, these cards in your hand feels like butter and glass had a baby. Like, they are just slick. Slick slides, slick edges, slick surfaces. Um, when I would talk to Andre later after the decks came out, he indicated to me that there's a, a surface on them. So there is some sort of coating. Uh, and you want to call it plastic coating? I don't know, something like that. But it, there is a coating on top of the surface. And I asked him why uh, the final result card had a plastic coating, whereas the prototype didn't. And he indicated to me that because of where the marking system is and how the marking system works, and I'm not going to get into that with you, uh, and then the plastic coating is helping to keep that marking system in place so that your cards last longer. So, whereas I know some card uh, magicians and I know some cardists don't like the slick feel, it makes the cards slippery, uh, and I know that's not their preference. Uh, the slickness is there for the magicians that want to use the marking system. It's there so that the marking system doesn't chip away. And then if you're going to ask, well, then do the unmarked cards have the coating system? Yes, they do too. The back design is just this beautiful full bleed image uh, going all the way to the edges. You have the shadow of the butterfly on the top and the bottom with that uh, center flower in the middle. Now you'll probably notice right away that center flower is not a two-way image. So that does make the back design a one-way back design. The other thing, of course, is the marking system. The marking system is only on one end of the carts. It's not on both ends. So that uh, marking system also makes it a one-way back design. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. One is a full black shadow and the other is a blue ornate butterfly. I think for the most part, your pips and indice cards will appear to be completely standard, which makes them great for magic, gameplay, and flourishing. Uh, on a closer inspection, these cards are also a one-way design. Andre has done something unique uh, for magicians to make these one-way, and of course, even in the unmarked version, uh, that feature is there as well. 
Your court cards are also going to be bicycle standard, instantly recognizable for everyone. Your Ace of Spades is a beautiful uh, pip that's comprised of uh, the back design that's kind of come together, kind of coalescing together in the center, forming a large spade pip. It does say butterfly playing cards. So just a little bit about the marking system. I can't get into a lot of it because obviously I don't want to give anything away. So the unique marking system that's hidden in the back design of the butterfly playing cards actually contains two different marking systems that you can use separately, but they will make you a miracle worker if you combine them. Uh, and so if you look through the Indiegogo campaign, you're gonna see a couple uh, different videos that Andre has put together that'll show you some of the tricks that are uh, available and possible with this amazing tool. I gotta say, I love this deck. It's been on my nightstand ever since I got it. I've had a deck of the marked and a deck of the red unmarked. Uh, right there and every time I'm going through a book I bust out the butterflies and it's amazing because all those tricks that you're already familiar with even self-working tricks it doesn't matter all those tricks that you're already familiar with you add the butterfly deck and it just becomes that much more amazing there's just so many things that you can do with this type of system it, it just boggles the mind Andre has created a really unique really powerful uh, marking system that I think is going to blow a lot of minds. Go back to the campaign, read some of these quotes that other magicians and creative uh, people have been saying about this deck. Their minds are blown just like mine. I couldn't wait for this set to come in and I'm so glad it's here. Keep checking back at the .com. I know Andre's going to open the .com up one day soon and the cards will be available for sale there. I think this is a phenomenon. I think it's catching on. I think Andre has ideas for more decks. So definitely want to follow uh, Butterfly Cards on Instagram definitely want to uh, keep up on what Andre is doing and I think you'll see plenty more ideas in the months and years to come all right so that's my review of the butterfly playing cards and of course I want to thank Andre Seneca for just making a really beautiful deck as always we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster and we ask that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic if you want to follow me on social media you can I'm at facebook.com slash metric orthodoxy twitter.com slash metric orthodoxy instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy and if you need more content you can always find it at magic thanks bye